Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstam, I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my gear talks about things that I've used and things that, how I like them, what my real world experience is with them. Today I'm talking about another folder. This is the Fujika Super Fujika 6. I bought this at a camera show a few years ago when we saw it camera shows in Denver and it was a hundred dollars. And I bought it because it has a really nice Fuji, a Fuji lens, Fujinar 75 millimeter f3.5, but it has a rangefinder. And the rangefinder is really clear and accurate. And as I mentioned last time about how I'm using more of these cameras quickly because I'm shooting a roll a week for the photo game, I ended up finishing the roll that was in here. And I have to say, this is an absolute joy to work with. I put a camera strap on it. I don't think I'm going to leave it on there. I think this camera is like the other one I showed, the Perkio. Or these are better when there's no strap. When there's just one simple camera in your pocket, it's a simple device. It's not a shoulder camera. There's no reason for that strap. And then when you're done, you can just put it away. You have to make sure it's on infinity focus because the lens actually extends and you don't want to try to close it with it extended or else you end up crushing everything together and it doesn't like that. Um, Fujika Super 6 or Super Fujika 6. It's just so basic. It just has apertures and shutter speeds on the lens. Like, let's see what the shutter goes up to. It goes up to 500 down to bulb like the other. It has uh, apertures that go from 3.5 to 22. And the focus is really good. The focus is really, really easy to see. And if I didn't have... If I had a better grip on this, it's actually left-eyed, so I can actually keep my other eye open and watch things come into the frame, which is kind of nice for me. Very few cameras have the viewfinder off to the right. They're usually off to the left. And for left-eyed people like me, we can keep our other eye open, but it's usually all blocked up. But for this camera, I can actually keep the other eye open and I can watch for things coming in and out of the frame. But it has a little bellows on it. All these cameras do. You have to make sure that the one you get doesn't have any problems with that. This to me seems like the Mamiya 6 that I can't afford. This to me seems like the, you know, folding point, folding a camera that becomes almost like a point and shoot because it's so easy to use. And I know the focus is accurate because it has the rangefinder focus and it's inexpensive. This is way less expensive than a Rolleiflex and it'll still get you a six by six negative. This is, certainly a, a quality lens but it just doesn't go for much people i guess they don't think of this as i never see this one written up and i feel like it's well built i feel like it has like a special look to it and i like the build quality of it it's got automatic advance when you advance the film it actually will move the film the right amount without having to use a red window there's no red window in this one and that's the kind of thing where you usually pay more for those. In fact, the Perkio 1 that I talked about last time, that one has a red window. The Perkio 2, I think they got rid of that. That made it so it had like an index. So it knew how many turns to make the camera winder so that you wouldn't need to use a red window. That's one of the advantages. And this one already has that advantage. There's no red window. So, and if you do have a camera with a red window, keep it taped up because back in those days, there were films made that didn't have sensitivity to red, but nowadays they do. They were called orthochromatic films and then they became panchromatic, which meant all of the colors were sensitive. And that red is probably fine for like a couple of seconds while you're making a picture. But if you're walking around with it out in the light, put a piece of tape over it. A piece of black gaffer tape would be ideal. So this is made... I think back in the 50s, I don't see a whole lot of these on any kind of review sites. I don't see a whole lot of these when people are talking about the Zeiss. I think that it's one of the better, I think it's probably my best folder for ease of use. And again, compared to that Super Iconta, that weighs so much. It's got a 2.8 lens on it, but it has a little bit of a, a fiddly shutter system where it wants to prevent double exposure but sometimes it gets in its own way this doesn't this is very very simple it's the fuji super fujika 6 if you haven't 
tried one. It's inexpensive to get into and try. And then see what you think. It's not a camera I use with flash. It has a cold shoe, but I don't use that. And it's just a good camera to put in my pocket. Forget about that case and strap. It doesn't need to be any more protected. My pocket's fine for that. And let's go out and make photographs. That's what matters. And it's an inexpensive way compared to maybe getting that Mamiya 6, which would cost you this plus a thousand rolls of film or something crazy like that. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my followers and subscribers. And I'll be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.